Hey guys, let's make a knife in ZBrush. To get started, I'm gonna go to initialize and let's set our X, Y, and Z to something like two by uh, six by two and just do Q, Q. That's gonna give us something along these lines. If I turn my polyframe on, you can see my topology. I'm gonna grab my move and literally just make this a little bit skinnier. So essentially the thickness of my knife. Next to turn this into something that looks more like a blade, I'm gonna turn the fill off on my polyframe because I still wanna see the topology. I'm gonna jump out of the perspective view. Next, let's go into the gears icon. Let's say bent curve and let's change our resolution to something like six. I think that's fine. I'm gonna start taking these points right here and start bending them back. I'm gonna bend this one uh, back as well, but you see what I'm doing? I'm moving this one up closer, right? So I'm creating this nice flow for the front of the blade. Let's say you like this. I'm gonna click on the gear and say accept. Next, let's press control, go into quick picks. Let's choose mask lasso and let's literally mask out these points right here all the way on the edge. Then using the move, I'm just gonna take this scale and scale all of this in. This is gonna be the sharp uh, blade part of my knife. I'm gonna press control and click to flip my mask and I'm just gonna scale all of this in and move it out. Let's adjust our selection one more time. I'm gonna press Control and click to get rid of the mask. And this time, let me select all of the points, including the one all the way to the top. Press Control and click to flip my mask. And now I can just scale all of this in. All right, now let's take a look. We have the thickness on this side and sharpness on this side. This right here could just do a little more adjustment. Maybe I can take my uh, move brush, activate my active symmetry on Z, and I can just carefully adjust these points to make the knife feel even better from the top. If I wanted to, I can mask out all of these points here, grab my move, adjust my pivot. I'll put my pivot right here, lock this back up, and I can straighten this up and flatten the bottom, right? I could do that. Let's also make a simple handle. I'm gonna go to sub tool. I'm gonna say insert. Let's just insert any shape, doesn't matter which one. Go to initialize and let's do something like two by six by two and click Q cube. This is gonna be a perfect handle for our knife. I'm gonna grab my move, put it into position. Maybe I can make it a little bit wider on this side and a little bit skinnier on this side. Let's add some fun detail. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fill on on my polyframe. Let me select these faces here and here and I'm gonna grab these as well. Hover over polygon, press spacebar, Q mesh, single poly. Let me just press this in. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna hover over this edge, go to bevel. Let's do edge loop complete. Let's just bevel this a little bit and I'm gonna click here and here to repeat the thickness. Let's hover over this one again, go to Q mesh. This time let's say poly group all and let's just press this one in a little more. I would love to do something on the bottom. I'm gonna press alt, select these faces here. I'm still in Q mesh, so I'm gonna pull this out. To pull this out, I can go to extrude and I can do poly loop and I just wanna grab this entire loop right here, just make it a little bit wider. Let's press alt, select these faces here. Let's go ahead and extrude this as well. Switch it to single poly, pull this out. And I'm going to go to scale, polygon center. Let me select these here and just kind of pull them in. As a final step, I'm going to go to move, click on the gear icon, go to bent curve. Let's turn this into something like three and just simply curve the handle of our knife. So accept and take a look. We have a low poly knife, only 234 points.